So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful yellow sunshine. These are conditions for the beautiful game. At least that is how it should be. The backdrop could not be any more idyllic. The players are with us now. The crowd is in in good number and in shirt sleeve order. It is lovely to be able to breathe fresh air without having to wrap oneself up to the gills and simply to uh, turn up and to enjoy a match that matters to so many. Unmistakably, this is the Camp Nou, staging a game in the way only the Camp Nou can. The national anthem of Argentina rings out. We stand for the national anthem of France. France have opted for a 4-4-2 formation. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. So off we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Ankel Di Maria. Uh, he has an awful lot going for him. Uh, a good dribbler, a very good crosser, a marvellous freak. Le Mans! Oh, surely that deserved better. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. Giroud. Now it's Griezmann. It's, Gr it's Griezmann! He's got away with one there. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Salvia. Messi. Villa needed to come up with a better ball. Villa encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Now it's Salvia. Can take it's the guilty party there. Dinks one in. Can he put it away? Goal! Argentina! And it's Argentina in front. That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. Big Wayne simply knew the ball was asking to be hit first time because of the way it arrived. And boy, did he hit it. Argentina take the lead. 1-0. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Mbappe! Stop. That wasn't easy. Mbappe really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Knocks it away. Dybala breaks on here. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. He's left his man. Salvio tore at them and just came up short. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. It's Iguain! 
I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. TT. And it's Griezmann. France are still behind as we reach out for half time. Shiro! something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveler perfect placement the one place the keeper couldn't reach now that's what I call finishing right in the corner he knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up that's a cracking goal and that has added a whole new complexion to the game yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Going through. That is going to be the final action of the first half. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. What's the first half compared with your expectation? That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in this second half. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. And we're already back on the way here. The shot's on! And he's done it! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They are obviously hoping for an early second half boost but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and caught. It's Giroud! Sticks it away! France are back on level terms! Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plump. This is quite a battle. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. They just got caught napping. Bilia. Dybala. Iguain. Played out to the right. Selvio plays it out to the flank. And the defence can get it clear. <laughs> Throw. Lamar with the slight tackle there. And it's Salvio. Griezmann. Giroud is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Yeah, and if he's allowed time on the ball, it opens up a wealth of other possibilities. Oh, too much weight on that. Forward it goes. Lamar. Dybala. Higuain. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Di Maria. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Play for a throw. And it's Di Maria. Di Maria plays it forward. Up to meet it! Oh, what about that? Late in the day, this could... 
that will be it! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Argentina take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. There is the final whistle. Terrific contest. It might easily have tipped either way. The margins are tiny. Just a goal in it. Sadly, that's all it takes. Your reflections then, Jim.